and welcome back again, everyone. Today I'm reviewing the second in the series of cigars from Roberto Duran. Uh, this is the Azan label. Previously we did the white. This is the burgundy label. And this is what they call the Short Robusto 4 and 3 8 by 50. Uh, this cigar, well, let's get back up. Here's your density. Cigar is a medium brown, as you can see. Uh, obviously, the burgundy label uh, designates it as the, that part of the line. This has an Ecuadorian Corojo wrapper. Uh, the filler is Nicaraguan from Jalapa and Esteli, and the binder is Nicaraguan from Jalapa. And that's pretty much the long and the short of it. If you remember, this line pays tribute, the Azan, uh, to the only Cuban cigar that was ever made by Chinese immigrants. Now, uh, if you look back on the uh, blog, you can get a little more background information, but uh, that's the Azan. So we're gonna get right to it. Nice looking cigar, very short, won't take as long to smoke it, but I don't know what how long the review will take because it could make several jumps and changes. So let's get right to it. All right, let's get right to this Azan Burgundy label that'll work fine as you can see I took off just a very minimum nice draw just a touch of firmness actually it's about perfect It's taken me to about a quarter inch in to really nail down these flavors because they're just difficult. But I'm getting a tangy cedar, what appears to be cocoa, and dry oak. Pepper's around a seven-ish, not bad. I'm actually satisfied with the assessment. Now let me look at this, the uh, finish. Sort of a uh, oak laden cream with a little lingering pepper. Sort of in the medium length range. Um, not extremely sweet. But it has some oak notes on a cream type finish with a little lingering pepper. So uh, it's just hard to nail down those flavors, but that's what we've got. And uh, I don't know where we'll go from here. Anxious to see. It's a nice start, nice flavors, just hard to pin them down. It was just, they, they mixed so well. So let's let the Azan Burgundy go along and let's see where we uh, end up from here. you could almost say I'm at the midpoint. I'm very close to the band, but the flavors are about like they were before. The cedar is very sweet and it has just a little thimble full of richness to it. The uh, cocoa is still there. It's a little more subdued. There are also a few citrus notes that are uh, playing with that uh, cedar. Um, pepper remains very good. The finish has actually gotten much longer much sweeter it's just like I said before it was before which is a uh, oak type cream but that cream is much sweeter a little more lingering pepper 
I would call a cigar medium body. You know, it's not, uh, it's definitely not mild, it's definitely not full body, it's not even medium to full yet, but uh, medium body. But um, the front end flavors are very nice. Um, and I'm satisfied with my assessment. So that's where we are at about the midpoint or right at the band. Well, we're here at the very end, so let's wrap it up. Haven't been a lot of changes to this cigar, which is okay because it's been very good. I really liked that sweet cedar with some richness. The cocoa notes really played well with the cedar and even more so the dry oak notes really gave it a nice base. Those three mixed very well. Pepper elevated to an eight. Cigar was medium bodied. The cigar took right at one hour to smoke. The finish was a big player, a big star in this cigar. Very long, sweet cream with some oak notes and the lingering pepper was very nice. Cigar burned very evenly. Uh, comparing the two, the white label and the uh, burgundy label, I tend to give uh, the notch, the tip of the cap lead to the burgundy. This, uh, that, that front end combination was, was very good. Very, very good. So for that, uh, for that reason, I'm giving the, score, uh, the cigar a score of 92 enjoyable cigar hope you can find them on shelves so uh, look for them have them both yourself and see which one you like better but for me the burgundy is uh, a solid 92 so there you have it the azan burgundy label short robusta